Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. What's happening? It's breathing. Dead. It's breathing. It's breathing. He knows she's getting closer. He can feel her coming closer. She's getting closer. This is a journey deep into darkness. of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Well, that's not quite true. Some are old, some are new, but they've changed. I think the darkness changed them just like it changed her. she thinking? I can tell you. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness, it just builds onto itself, growing stronger, towering over her. You might try and ignore it, Is there just out of sight where you're most vulnerable it's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. 
and bravery only mean something to those afraid of death. Said it was fear, runs far, far deeper. What is she looking at? What is she leaving behind? I know what she's thinking. I hear her thoughts. It's not too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. There's no going back. You can't do it. And who pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering? There's nothing to go back to and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? stories, Senua, because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hela's gate, but gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the eastern sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there, across the river of knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. across which lies the halls of hell, the place they call Helheim.
wants to rescue him. He's already dead. He's dead. But his soul is in Helheim. His soul still lives. The bridge to Helheim. I forget its name. She forgets too. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. That part wasn't so easy to forget. The old fool said there was a hidden path up to it. Let's see, shall we? The Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim. And that is where you must travel. Why did she do that? She shouldn't have done it. She can't go back now. <laughs> no, this is it. The hidden path. enslaved in hell. But I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listen? When everyone else laughed. My people pay the heavy price. Carry my stories with you. And together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. I 
guess it's the same with heights. You can stand on the edge, pretend it's going to be okay. But you know that death is near, waiting for you to make that little slip. You can't just wish things away. dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed. And with her, you must pardon. Stay back. Look at it. You have to open it. The gate to Helheim divides the living from the dead. Is that the face of Hela herself? The half-rotten goddess that walks over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find him. Thank you. Get out of here! 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 Get out of
until there is nothing left of her. All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. The hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. Listen to me, Senua. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire. Zurt, and the god of illusion, Van Raven, spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. It won't open. How will she get through? Where won't it open? Why can't she open? She needs to challenge the gods. She has to fight two gods. Val Raven, ancestor of the seers and master of ravens. He hunts his prey with his powers of illusion and feasts on their remains. Follow the path to Valraven and defeat him in battle to earn his mark. The gate to Helheim cannot be opened without it. hides the path to Valraven. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth.
differently. Because once you gaze into the relentless darkness, all that lurks within it can see you too. comes from ravens. Align the ravens to break his magic seal. Show me what you have seen, Truth. Thank you. 
Salad speed. <laughs> It's him.
we picture fear and we think of a shadow in the woods, a creature in the night. If only it were that simple. The worst kind comes without warning, a deep and primal signal from within. A reminder that just because you cannot see the threat, it doesn't mean that it's not already here. Ymir was a frost giant, a being of darkness, and all his sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous, but others fair. But there was another who came from the ice, Buri. In shape, he was like a man, big and powerful. His son, Bor, took a fair giant to be his wife, and they had three sons. Odin was the eldest, and the Northmen hold him to be the foremost of the gods, the Old Father. Do you know what it's like to leave everything behind? Your home, loved ones, to head deep into the wilds, perhaps never to return. I know what does. Because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Exile makes sense when you realize that you were never really home in the first place. She thought she could beat her own. Did she beat her dance? No. 
<laughs> it nearly killed her, but she tried. Druth. Druth helped her. If it wasn't for Druth, she'd be, be dead. dead. She can't beat her own darkness. She wanted to marry Dillian. She came to beat her own darkness and marry her. But she it didn't work. She thought her curse would affect him. She thought her curse would spread to him. She thought she'd bring the darkness to him too. She, she nearly died. She thought the curse made her tainted. Druth helped her. The Northmen say that Odin and his brothers killed Ymir, and that the world of man was formed from his corpse. They made his bones into stone, and his flesh into earth, and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky, with his brains for clouds. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying from Muspel, and made them into stars. And to protect the new world from the giants, they used Emir's great curving eyebrows as walls. She no longer felt fit for this world. She almost gave in to the darkness. She remembered Dillian's words. She remembered her promise. She resolved to fight on. 
and kill that which had become a part of her. it on her own. The further she saw into the darkness, the more she struggled to see anything at all. There is no such thing as victory when it comes to the darkness. So it doesn't want to kill them. Yet. I'll know what her. Biding its time. Only when she is at her weakest will it strike to kill. Will she find Dillian before her time comes?
overcome Valravan's final illusion to face him in his keep. I know you can do it, Sinoa. You have the sight. We both see the darkness. We can fight it together. Speak to me, Drew. Tell me a story. Senua, listen. I will tell you the tale of a man called Findon. The Northmen captured Findon's sister, and his father sent him to pay for her release. But they took his gold, put him in chains, and held him for a day and a night without food or water. Then they released him. I don't know why. Upon his return, his father's enemies in Erin set fire to his home. His father burnt to death, and his brother was killed. But he escaped with sorrow in his heart. His father's enemies offered redress for his loss and invited him to a feast that was at a hall near the sea. But when he went there, they betrayed him to the Northmen, who enslaved him and took him to hell. Six years later, his slave masters landed on the shores of Orkney, burning all before them. And into that fire, Findon made his escape. What was Findon burnt away that day? But from the flames, a new man stepped forward, and Druth was born. Druth. The man that I am now. And though Findon never set eyes on his dear sister again, I, Druth, have found you, Senua. I wish you could have seen my home before these dark times. Is open. Open.
you think you can overcome the darkness, make sense of it, and once relief settles in, strikes out of nowhere, throwing you helplessly back into the maelstrom, drowning the mind in fear, deeper, deeper, dragging you down so far into the void that maybe this time there is no coming back. But there, in the darkness, Senua. And she remembered what he told her. Hear me. Reach out to me. Senua. Take my iron mirror. Look into it. For it is a window into the underworld. Within, you will see the face of the darkness that you fear. And if you focus, like I have taught you to... You will also see that as much as the darkness has you trapped within its veil, it too is trapped within yours. Focus. 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 I see you. I see you now. You led me to the wilds. You trapped me there.
But not this time! The mark of Valraven. One of the keys to the gate to Helheim. Hold it in your mind's eye. With every battle, the darkness grows stronger. Every victory bringing her closer to defeat. Unfair, isn't it? In those dark winter nights in the wilds, there were times when she considered letting go. If it weren't for truth, a chance encounter in the wilds, she would not have heard his stories of the Northmen. And she would not have this chance to find Dillian's soul. I'm coming. I still hear you. When she was younger, she would lay in the grass and stare at the clouds. And there she saw them, elusive, shifting faces. After a while, she could see the faces everywhere, in the trees, the mountains, the caves. You have the sight, just like I do. Once you can see into the underworld, the underworld and all the souls within it will see you. Don't be afraid when they speak to you. I will always be here to guide you. Did you see her? That was her mother, Galina. She was a priestess, a healer. She taught Senua to see the weave that binds the world together. And it was beautiful. It was a time before the darkness. But when it did come, it first came for her mother. Senua still sees her face from time to time, hidden in the world. Like she's still watching over. She misses her so much.
from a land older than mankind. And the Northmen call upon his flaming sword to raise their enemies to the ground. Find him, Senua. And spill his blood. She found the wretched old fool on her way back from the wilds. Now God. The Northmen. Some of us further than others. Your father cannot see what you see, but there is nothing wrong with seeing the world the way you do. Yes, 
I heard their screams, and I still hear them now. Sealed for the living, but you already walk amongst the dead. Look towards the gate, and you will see that it has opened. When they first came to my lands. I knew enough of their tongue to beg for mercy, and they took me as a slave. I wish now that they had slaughtered me like the others. I rode their storm of fire, death, slavery to many lands. This darkness you speak of? <laughs> I know it well. And I'm still here to fight it. Sort. Know that only a sacrifice will stoke the fires of Muspa and let the dead walk through. Find the fire, Senua, to follow the path to Sort.
get through. She'll need to find another way. The Northmen tell this story. Before the Earth was created, there was a world called Muspel. Because it was in the south, it was bright and hot, flaming, burning. Sparks that flew out from Muspel became the stars. Other sparks melted ice. Burning slaves like me to reveal the path to search. I searched for meaning in their suffering, in their eyes. But they just screamed like helpless pigs. your prayers, Senua. I asked the gods for mercy, all of them, even theirs. None answered. In the end, I set myself free. Defy the gods, Senua! Find your own path, like I find mine! My gods abandoned me! I am alone. say that the defender of Muspel is called Surt, the foremost of the fire giants. His name means the Black One, because he is like something burnt. The Northmen believe that he sits at the border of Muspel with his flaming sword, and at the end of the world... Find will the fire, Senua, to follow the path to Surt. Victorious, and then burn the whole world with fire. of hell 
worship the devourers, insatiable gods of darkness. I come from Eren, Senua, where I once followed my own gods, the Tuatha de Danann. Why did you abandon your gods? Senua, I was a man of knowledge, not a warrior. To survive, I did things. Bad things. Like you, Senua. The man I once was has died. And when that happens, even gods you worship can die with you.
Tell me, Drew, how did you escape your darkness? Senua, once I found my purpose, I was no longer enslaved to the suffering I had to endure to reach it. Unclouded by fear, I could see it clearly in others. Even my captors feared the fire of Zerg. And so, during one raid, I took my chance and ran, knowing that they would not follow. The fool ran into the fire. <laughs> they left me for dead. Maybe they were right to. But here I am. Free. I'm glad I found you in the wilds. I wouldn't have made it without you. Northmen believe that the world will be destroyed someday. They call it Ragnarok, the destiny of the gods. Asgard will be attacked by Surt and the fire giants. A monstrous wolf will swallow the sun, and the gods will fight in vain against their enemies. There is nothing they can do to prevent it, but Odin ever seeks knowledge and magic, hoping, hoping to find a way to postpone that dark day. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Does 
darkness takes everything. Everyone. Senua. Are you sure you want to do this? We can fight this together. Side by side. We always do. This is my battle. I have to face it alone. Away from here. Where will you go? I don't know. For how long? I don't know. I believe in you. You know that. Just promise me that you will come back to me. I want you to say it. I want you to say it. I will come back to you. I promise. Come on. was a troubled man, a scholar turned slave. They tortured him, took him with them on their raids, drove him to madness, spreading this new form of darkness to new worlds, to my world. So 
only where I saw a deep connection form between the Northmen and the darkness. His tales of hell were true. Then that was the source of it. She learned everything she could from him. Until she too could see what he saw. Have you ever died before? It's a serious question. When the illusion of self is shattered, you simply cease to be. Though it may not seem that way to others, you know when it is true. You can feel it. A stranger in your own body. An imposter. And nothing is the same ever again. <laughs>